we're far away, but yet it, it makes us uh, want to help in some way or another. Tucsonans are collecting supplies for Mexico earthquake victims. Good evening. Rescue teams there are still digging through the rubble of collapsed buildings, continuing to find victims and survivors from the country's massive earthquake. The 7.1 magnitude earthquake rocked Mexico City. Officials say 60 people have been rescued since the quake hit the area Tuesday. The official number of people killed is now 295. Another strong earthquake shook Oaxaca, Mexico today. The U.S. Geological Survey says the quake was a magnitude 6.1. The new quake was also felt in Mexico City. So far, there haven't been any reported injuries in that earthquake. Here in Tucson, people are trying to help the people of Mexico. These Tucsonans aren't with any official organization, but they have been able to get a truck donated for their cause. News 4 Tucson's Sam Salzway will talk to them about the effort. He's live right now at Speedway and Grande. Sam, what's happening there? So the driver of this truck regularly makes trips across the border. So when he heard about this effort, he donated the equipment and his time. Several people that when they saw the news decided to uh, first they started, uh, you know, let's get a truck together. And as the day went on, it became a semi truck and here we are. This group wants to fill this truck and send it to a town near Mexico City that was devastated by an earthquake. They don't have any family there. They just want to help. help Mexico! Through good old fashioned poster board, they're attracting donors. I was just driving around here. Then I just seen the at I just seen the trailer right here and that's how I seen then I decided to help. Just got off work when I did a little bit of shopping and whatnot and as we're bending the corner, we saw that they're taking donations. The Southern Arizona Trucking Company is donating the equipment, gas and labor. South of the border, the trailer will be transferred to another truck and head to a small town near Puebla. I feel heartbroken because that's what's happening nowadays and I feel bad for them. It was very heart moving and, and beautiful to see people come together, you know, regardless of the tragedy or any kind of circumstance that we might perceive as negative in life, there's always something good that could, you know, come out of it and you just got to search for that. I'm thinking we're like halfway, but we still got the rest of today and all of tomorrow. What's so we're, we're, we're here. So they actually cannot accept water donations, clothing, and first aid kits. They say they can't take those across the border. They'll be donating those back to the Red Cross. If you want to help, they'll be here from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Live on the west side, Sam Salzwedel, News 4 Tuesday.